Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the cephalic vein. The cephalic vein is formed from the dorsal venous network. This is our dorsal venous network on the dorsal of the hand. From the lateral aspect of the dorsal venous network and it is formed in the anatomical snap box okay so cephalic vein is formed from the lateral part of the dorsal venous network of the hand in the subcutaneous tissue of the anatomical snap box subcutaneous tissue of the anatomical snap box Okay, we got the cephalic vein formation. Okay, then we'll find out the how the cephalic vein passes and where it goes. Cephalic vein is a preaxial vein. It passes along the lateral border of the forearm and passes in front of the elbow joint along the lateral side of the front of the elbow joint passes along the lateral border of the biceps brachii muscle goes to the lower border of the pectoralis major it pierces the deep fascia then it passes between the deltoid muscle and pectoralis major muscle in the delto pectoral groove and then the cephalic vein reaches the infraclavicular fossa also called clavi pectoral triangle and it opens into the first part of the axillary vein okay it is the course of the cephalic vein cephalic vein is accompanied by the so its accompaniment accompaniment Accompanying it, accompanying what the the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm, lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm, and this accompaniment is in the forearm. Lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm, we know that that is a continuation of the muscular cutaneous nerve. And musculocutaneous nerve is a nerve from the lateral cord of the brachial plexus. It also accompanies, okay, it also accompanies the terminal branch of the terminal branch of the radial nerve. in the anatomical snub box okay we got that now cephalic vein is very important vein it is also chosen for veiny puncture like that of the median cubital vein or basilic vein to draw blood to transfuse blood okay to pass a catheter it is clinically important cephalic vein cephalic vein is connected to the basilic vein cephalic vein is connected to the basilic vein through the median cubital vein median cubital vein that is the most 
preferred vein, most chosen vein for vein puncture. Okay, this is the median cubital vein. This is the cephalic vein. Okay, it end up in the axillary vein. Okay, cephalic vein is connected to the basilic vein usually just below the lateral part lateral part of the elbow joint below it goes obliquely to open into the basilic vein and this is the median cubital vein that connection in around 20 percent cases the cephalic vein may not go through them okay it may be absent here around 20 percent cases the cephalic vein vein end up in the basilic vein ends up in the basilic vein okay but usually this goes to the axillary vein here okay that is the idea so that's all about cephalic vein if you like my video please support my channel please subscribe me share the information with your friends have a nice day bye now